I'm going to continue working on the Sec7 document with using Infolinker Plus to add bookmarks and links. What I'd like to do now, we, we right now have some rules in here that we did in the, the other video that show table contents, the destination paragraphs in the document, source paragraphs in the table contents, and source reference paragraphs throughout the document. What I want to now do is go to a figure, and the figures are in the body of the document, so we'll page through here. There's a figure, and as you can see, the figure has capital figure, one dot, a number, and then it's got some text after it. So it's the beginning of a line, and it's a big uppercase figure. So what we want to do is find all the figures in the document. So I'm going to add a, a rule. It's a new rule. It's for the figure destinations. And what we want to look for, again, it could be the beginning of the page, which is that symbol, or it could be a beginning of line. And what we want to find is capital figure, or uppercase figure, followed by a number, and it could, could be 10, 11, 12, multiple digits, followed by a period. And then it's going to have a space, and there should be an alpha character after it. So, and it's uppercase. All the titles of the figures have uppercase titles. So, in the rename, it's going to be a, the second. It's going to, the type of uh, rule it is, is a destination rule. And it can be anywhere from 12, which is the body of the document, to the end of the document. And this should be enough to find all the figures in the document. So, I'll save that close it. And it's just going to add this to all the rules that we've already used to find all the links that are so already here in the bookmarks. So I'm going to now remove it. This is a plugin we have that removes all the links and bookmarks very easily. And now I'm going to process the document. Again, it's going to run through all the pages and data related to the pages, you know, the organization of the page, the uh, font, the text, the structure of the page to try to find, in this case with a new rule, all the figures. It's also, of course, doing all the other rules to find table contents, paragraphs, etc. So our count of sources and destination links is going up. It's on page 35 here. Now when it creates these bookmarks, they're all going to be in the order as they were found in the document. So wherever the figures are, they're going to be, so for instance, this figure 1 dash, or paragraph 1 dash 2 should be after figure 1, the three levels of data activity. As you notice, the, the three levels of data activity, the title, because we have in the, in the uh, preferences, we have bookmark expansion on, what it does is really figure 1 is the only link. But because the text following figure one is the same font and it's on the same line, it's the same size, we automatically, by preference, go ahead and expand the bookmark name to include the three levels of data activity or whatever the, the figure is. So here it is. Here's the link and it points to the figure, figure one, the three levels of data activity. And as you can see, all these links are mixed in here. So after paragraph 3.1, is figure 3.2. So now we have all those links. So now that we have the figures, destinations, I want to go back to the table contents and you'll see that the page after the table contents, or two pages after, has a bunch of figures. These are the table of figures. So there's 14 different figures and on this page, see it's just a number and a dot. It doesn't have the word figure in here. So we're going to have to do a rename in our rule to make it link to figure one dot in this case or figure two dot or whatever whatever the links are so we can get links from these numbers out to the actual figures so let's write a rule for that so again it's a it's a new rule so if we go down here click on it this is our rule so this is going to be source figures and it's only on this page so it's just page eight so we're going to put an eight here and an eight here 
And these are our source links. Now the rule for this is very similar. We have it could be the beginning of a page, or it could be a carriage return, a line feed type, or a carriage return or beginning of line. And then it's just going to be numbers, and it could be multiple digits, followed by a period. And that should be um, all that we need. But we are going to have to rename this. So the rename is going to be figure, because it was uppercase. And then it's the second part of the uh, regular expression up here on this line. So that should be should give us the uh, the link that we want. Okay, so we got source, we got the rename, save it, and now we'll say OK. And now let's delete all the existing links, and we'll process the document. You're turning through again. It's it's processing all the rules as it runs through the documents. So we're seeing all the sources, the counts of the sources and destinations. We don't have any external links in here. Uh, there's, there's rules that we can use to link to external documents or external media or links in another PDF, and that's just a different type of rule. We need to define each of those rules if we want to add those kind of links to the document. Okay, so now it's finished. Now it's building all the uh, links and bookmarks. And here we go. So here on our figure page, expand this a little bit, are all the links of going to the different figures. So we can go on 12, and there's figure 12. We can go back uh, to the previous page previous view and go to any any of these figures in here. You see it's centering, it's moving the document to the uh, to the title. And there's figure two. We don't have a way of saying look at the top of the page or look at the bottom. Although we could change the view to be only the entire page or a different view, PDF type view of the page. So there's two rules that gave us all the links from the table of figures to the actual figures in the document. Now let's go back to the table of contents again and look at the table of figures. Notice that there's a little bit of a problem here. We've got down here a table of tables. This is the same structure, same syntax as the figure reference. The only difference between this one dot and this one dot is where on the page they occur. So there's a zone, and we use geometric zones from the page to restrict rules. So what I want to do is find out what the geometry of this down here is to make sure it's excluded in our rule for finding source table contents. So I select the text, and then I go to our rules, go to the source figure here, and if I do a paste, it's going to wipe out this rule, so I might want to keep this. I'll copy this, and I will do a paste. What that does is it grabs whatever text I had selected down here and gives me the geometry. As you can see, now Adobe Acrobat has the top upper left-hand corner is 800 Y, and the bottom is 0. So the Y of 4... 26 is where this number 1 is. So what we need to do is define a zone. Let me first paste back my rule on here. Paste a zone that's from 800 to 426. And make the X's... The page goes from 0 to 640, so we really don't care about the X position. And so if I click the zone thing, that'll change the rule. So now, when we run the rule, i got to save it. What we want to do is only do, use this rule of renamed create figures from the table figures on the top half of the page. 
which is y of 800 down to around 426. Maybe you should make it 427. Okay, so I'm going to save that. Now we've got these six rules. Again, I'll remove everything and process the document. And hopefully the, the one dot here that I had selected will not be in there. We have to write a separate rule for our tables so that we get this one to go to table one dot out in the document. It would take two rules, a rule for the tables in the document and a tab rule for the tables in the table of tables. So let's see how this works. Like I said, what we expect to happen is all 14 of these will link, but this one will not link because we've added a zone restriction to the rule. And here we go. See, the one is not highlighted anymore. It doesn't have an underline on it, and we only have one figure one. The other figure, well, take my word for it, it's not in there, so there's no reference to it. So that's adding figure links and bookmarks to a PDF using Info Linker Plus.